This is part five of how to write a critical study. In this video, I will explain how to write up the finished piece. The final stage is to put together the four bits of information that you've now written. So you should have a minimum of four paragraphs. The first section is your information about the artist that you've researched. Second section is based on the content and the meaning of the piece of art. The third section is the media that the artist has used. And then finally, you talk about the mood and the atmosphere in terms of how you have interpreted the piece of artwork. It's up to you whether you type this or you handwrite it, but it's really good to have it written up separately on a piece of paper. So then you can choose how to display it in a project within a sketchbook, for example. You might also want to add a fifth section. This is especially important if you're studying at GCSE. For this fifth section, you need to think about how might the artist influence your own work. So you're connecting it back to your own project. For my example, I've written this. Looking at the artist Andy Goldsworthy will influence my own work in a number of ways. His work links clearly to my project theme, Found Objects, as he uses natural items that he finds within the environment. His use of nature, abstract shape and pattern will influence me. I plan to use his idea of selecting found objects from nature to inspire an abstract piece of artwork. So you can see I've linked it back to the project theme that I'm working on and I have directly linked it to a piece of artwork that I'm going to create inspired by the artist. On this slide, you can see a variety of different examples of how students have created a page of uh, artist research. Most of these are in sketchbooks. You can see that they have included their critical study. They've included printed images and then drawings, paintings and photography in response to their chosen artist. A common feature with these examples is that they've all used creative and clear presentation techniques. I hope you found this video really useful and that you're able to write a really good critical study in response to your artist.